Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we are cutting a stencil of Frida Kahlo. Um, maybe the most important female artist ever. The sort of the first pioneering female artist. Um, and this painting is very much, or the stencil which will become a painting, is my uh, take on her. Um, the mashup, the twist that I'm doing on this painting, I'm not showing in the stencil to give it away. So there may be some weird edits. You're not going to see a lot of her body. You're going to see mainly her face. And this of the face is the first layer this is the skin do that part first Steve. remember this is the base layer <laughs> um so now we're going to layer one this is a one two three four five five layer five layer stencil five layer stencil uh so this is base one this is the one that will be making up everything the foundations of her face and it looks very roboty and weird there um should i talk about the stencil or frida let's, t let's touch on frida um Probably, yeah, she, she was the first female artist to sort of paint the female experience, birth, miscarriage, yada, yada, yada. Um, and also, if you know anything about her, if you don't know anything about her, go and watch the movie, which is phenomenal, or read about her. She had an, a bloody awful life. <laughs> I think she was born with spina bifida, then she got polio, then she was in a car crash and smashed up her, her spine. I believe like a big pole went through her, then she was uh, in like these casts for most of her life, and lots of her work uh, reflects that, and... I think just before she died, she had her leg amputated. It's a horrific life. Um, so it, her um, artwork is very, very personal to her, um, which is not really on trend nowadays because it's not postmodern. It's very modernist. But she led the way. Um, and unfortunately, she became big and uh, important as a feminist, uh, an icon, long, long after her death. Um, anyway, that's base layer one. I didn't talk about that at all. You saw what I was doing and I was giving you some education. I hope that's all right. I, I may have got some information wrong. If I have, please point it out down below because, you know, we all need to learn. There's a lot of artists. There's a lot of things to learn. Uh, now we're going on to, I think I put phase two there. So this is layer two. Um, I'll talk about the stencil. Doodling it out, as always, with my uh, trusty Posca pen. I usually use a Posca or a Biro. Biros are good because you can push hard and get a little indent where you can run the knife along. Uh, then I'm cutting the stencil with my scalpel, which is a swan acrylic handle stencil, uh, stencil, scalpel. Um, and right at the bottom of the scalpel, I've got lots of plasters wrapped around it because the blade always rubs my skin and brings the skin off. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, so this layer is the next layer up. So this is the one that is taking the foundations and just moving it up a bit. So the bricks, now we're on the bricks. <laughs> um, she looks grumpy. I'm sorry, Frida. I didn't mean to make you look grumpy. Um, whoa, her chin looks big there. Looks like a Jimmy Hill chin. Only people from England who are over 30 will understand the Jimmy Hill reference. But um, there she is. She looks good. But yeah, the chin, once we bring the angle up better, there we go. That makes much more sense. Uh, this is the white layer, the uh, highlight layer. The, 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 if you know my work, the, the swirly layer. Very quick one to cut. And also, what am I doing? Look, I got really confused there. Sorry. There it is. That's the white layer, the highlight. Really quick and um, nothing really interesting to say about that. <laughs> now we're on to the uh, pint of Coke, which is nice and healthy. And the black layer, the shadow layer, the detail layer, the main layer that brings it all together. Um, as you can see, it's very, how would you put it, thin detailed you use the point of the knife a lot. And this is with Frida is, you know, her, her trademark is her hair, um, her silhouette, um, and her, of course, her monobrow, which is very important. Um, so the monobrow is is there, but I'm not doing the monobrow all in black. She'll look like a Gallagher, but um, I wanted to look like her. Anyway, um, diddly 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 diddly. there she is again. That's the black layer. Sorry, I was diddly diddly in there. I don't know. I've run out of things to say. I've spoken over so many stencil videos. I never know what to say about them. You draw what you want to do, and then you cut it out with a knife. And you make a big mess in your studio and walk bits of paper forever around. And they're always really sharp. Uh, the card, you'll ask about the card. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot I did this. Okay, so I'm just putting them together. So there's layout, no, the base layer, the foundation. So I'm putting that one over the top. Just so you can kind of see how it lines up. It works quite well. I forgot I did this. I'm happy I filmed this because I had nothing else to say. Um, and then we're going to layer two or layer three, I guess. And... Uh, getting that lined up and you can see how it's only you see how there's like a tiny little bit of card at the side so that's just giving me my separate layer um looks good and then we're going in with the, the black layer so layer four um and laying that one over and now you can kind of see how it should be maybe i should have put them the other way around but here we go this is what they look like um all together um and this is the painting in theory so you really have to 
take a leap of faith with stencils. You have to take a leap of faith that when you spray this or roller it or however you do it, that it's not going to look crap. You're really, really trusting what you've done before. Um, and there has been quite a few times when I've sprayed stuff, especially when I've done big live walls and something didn't line up. And that is a disaster. But you just have to be confident in figuring what the issue is. And then putting over the uh, white layer, which is the one I stuttered all over, well, look at that massive beak. <laughs> oh, God, see, I'm worried about that now. I'm worried. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Go watch Frida the film and read all about it. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.